Hi and welcome to another rule session with Phil and this time we want to look at scorecard marking because unfortunately what we see from an admin point of view when cards get handed in whether they're general play cards or competition cards some of the entries are almost illegible and that can lead to a disqualification and certainly a certain amount of guesswork which in a competition we don't want to do. So I've got a, a sample scorecard here from say a medal competition and I've been marking a card here for Mr. Bloggs, who is in receipt of 20 shots in the competition. Now, the important elements we want here is the card is made out for player A, Joe Bloggs. That means his scores, quite simply, will go into column A. Apart from the marker's score, there's no other entries need to be made in B, C or D. So if you're playing in a group of three guys, don't mark all their, all their scores down. I just want to see column A matching with the scores for player A. And that's the way the completed card is going to be. If you're playing in a Stapleford, you add the points in the end column here. As a player, you are responsible for the entry of the gross scores per hole. You're not actually responsible for the points entry, although that is useful from an admin point of view, but it's the gross scores on each hole that you are responsible for as the player. So once Mr. Bloggs has checked this through, I've signed as marker. He will then sign it as a player, making sure the scores are accurate. The score entries per hole are legible, so from an admin point of view, that can get entered into the system nicely, and everything's clear. If there's a discrepancy on here, and say I, as the marker, have put down a wrong score, and it's proven to be the wrong one, I don't want to make a bodge of one of these numbers. I would cross that through, put in the new number clearly, and then initial it as the marker that I have made the change. That's important that the marker initials that change because otherwise anyone could come along and just put in a, a dubious score and it's incorrect. So that needs to be attested by the marker. So player A scores in column A, points in the points column if necessary. Marker then signs. Player, once he's satisfied it's an accurate score and it's everything's correct, he then signs. The card goes in.